I've just been reviewing some of the film and you just can't see the, how big the waves are. I don't know what it is about the lens on the camera or whatever it is, but it makes it look flat calf. And yet yeah, here's a wave that's at least two meters, probably three. You can see the straights on the on the water showing you how fast the wind is blowing. I'll have a quick look. It's 19 knots right now. Average today has been about 20 gusts peaking. Well, earlier on the peaks were like 29, 30, but now, but most of the day it's been a steady, not steady, but it's been 20 with gusts 25. All caused by these clouds which have been all day, which I think is also going to be tomorrow. At uh, half past two, I think I've already said this. I guess at 2 o'clock. Uh, I'll hit my Lisbon waypoint. It's not actually Lisbon, it's uh, 60 miles off the coast or 70 miles off the coast of Lisbon. And then I'm going to change tack and head in towards Cape St. Vincent. Uh, which, uh, if you don't know, that's the, the corner of Portugal, the bottom southwest corner. <clears throat> Famous for launching ships to explore the world in times gone by. These days, it's the corner of the Algarve, and uh, then we'll then we'll do some soul searching and work out if we're going to stop in the Algarve or if we're going to carry on to across the Bay of Cadiz to the Straits of Gibraltar. And at the moment, uh, it will all entirely depend on what happens with the weather in the next two days so if I've been in this all the way to the Algarve there's every chance that I'll need to stop get some more diesel for a start because I have to every now and when there's no Sun I have to run the engine to charge the battery I've got solar panels but obviously today they've produced very little at all certainly not kept up with the autopilot which I'm having to use because the wind vane doesn't work. And so that's put a bit of a stretch on my diesel reserves. And you know, it's all it management. I'll find I'll, I'll do the maths on the way there and make a decision when we get there based on any number of factors. Uh, I would like to press on, but you know, <laughs> yeah, there's a there's the decision you like and there's the right decision and they're not always the same so we'll see how it is that's enough rambling can you see Tahoe spirit over on the horizon three miles away it's massive I said hello the wind being strong is one thing being shifty as well adds a whole new level of entertainment to the carrying on. I'm currently waiting until I can... Oh, wrong page, wrong page, wrong page. There we go. Uh, until I can lay the mark and then I'm going to jibe onto, uh, onto believe it or not, onto port tech. And uh, then we will, uh, then we'll be heading Inshore, inshore, which may be good and may be bad. We've got to cross the traffic uh, lanes. We'll be outside of the traffic separation scre scream, scheme, the TSS uh, rocker is uh, Lisbon. Um, so I'm waiting until we pass that and then we'll nip through all the traffic in the dead of night. They won't even know I'm here.
Good, I can have a cup of tea now. Might puke first though. <laughs> <laughs>